Hey, this is number 19, Ryan Whelan from Drayton Valley, Alberta, and you're listening to White Court Wolverine Playoff Hockey on XM Country. Back live at the Twin Arenas after 40 minutes of play, Wolverines down to the Navigators by a score of 2-1. to one. You just heard the shout-out from Ryan Whelan, the Drayton Valley native. i got another Drayton Valley native sitting behind, beside me here. Half of the Drayton Valley connection from last year, Elias Holly with the shots. Uh, Elias, good to have you back, man. Yeah, it's good to be back. Uh... Finally got a little free time to come watch a hockey game, so I thought I'd come watch uh, some of the old boys here. Play. Absolutely, yeah. You're a long-time member of the Wolverines. I'd explored some other options this year. First off, talk a bit about that. You played uh, in the Capital Junior League. Yeah, I played in the Capital Junior League this year. It uh, was a lot different. It's a pretty fast league. Had a good time. I didn't take things as serious as I did in the last few years with play court, but had a good time and uh, thought uh, my game improved a lot. Played for Stony Plain, right? Started the year off there, finished off as Bruce Grove. Yeah, so Stony Plain was a little shaky, but uh, I, uh, if I didn't move, didn't jump ship to Spruce Grove, uh, I probably would have ended up quitting. It was pretty bad. But uh, I went to Spruce and finished off strong. So. Ended up playing Beverly in the playoffs there, and I guess you saw a lot of Beaumont this year too, which is a team that you played last year in the in the, in the provincial finals. Yeah, but, uh, Beverly was a pretty strong team to play against in the playoffs there. They have a, a deep lineup, and... And Beaumont still very fast team, and uh, they they took advantage of our defense. The game we lost there, and uh, it was a tough loss. But do you still uh, think about that game, that provincial final? Oh, yeah. Every day, yeah. it's uh, something that'll never, never leave my mind. It's a tough one, eh? Yeah. So you're watching this team right now, right? Uh, old memories come back. What do you what do you think of the, this this new unit here? Uh, it's a very young team. Um, I think they have uh, a lot of talent, young talent, but. It, it's uh, tough to say. The Peace River has a tough team too, and they, uh, they need to come out out tonight uh, and win this game. And that's about all I can say. You and I were just talking off the air. Jordan, St- <clears throat> excuse me, Jordan Stan was in the box here as well, and he was saying this is likely the best Peace River team you've seen in a long time, right? And uh, two teams to be this good from the Northwest League isn't isn't normal, right? Like you're not used to having two teams that are this good in the Northwest. Yeah, right? yeah. The Wolverines of the class act, and then there's a tier three, tier four team below you. Yeah, it is actually nice to uh, to come here. I, even though I'm not playing, I wish I was, but it's kind of nice to come up here and watch a, a real hockey game, not a 9 nothing, 9 2 blowout that it usually was. So it's it's nice to see. You will be playing here in about two or three weeks on the alumni game. That's going to be exciting for you, right? Getting all the old boys together. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a great time. See all the old guys that I used to play with, and uh, I just uh, enjoy the time and see him again. And, Go to the banquet after, and I'll have a great time. April 9th is that banquet. The afternoon, 1.30 is the game, I believe it is, and then a 5 o'clock banquet after that. So uh, is there a memory that kind of, you know, you played a, uh, two and a half years of the Wolverines. Is there a memory that kind of sticks out for you? What do you hold on to? Uh, just, uh, all of the guys, the friendships that we made, and uh, just always had a good time on and off the ice. And and uh, winning those two championships with uh, pretty much the same group of guys both years, that's uh, no, something that I'll never forget. You and I were joking that... Uh, and Elias Lachance shot from uh, the left wing right now. Bar down might be the difference maker in this hockey game. Oh, I wish I was out there. I could uh, give it a shot, but uh, it's kind of dreaming. So. Elias, good to have you back. You know, I can see I can see the emotion building up inside of you from talking about the loss last year in Beaumont. I hate to bring that up, but uh, it's nice to have you back here. Good to see you, and uh, I guess yeah, enjoy the rest of the game. Yeah, thanks, Dave. Uh, do you have a prediction if this game goes to overtime? Or right now, who's uh, what's what's the, what's the end of the score going to be? Well, uh, I got to say, White Court, uh, the they have good coaching and there's quite a few guys, good leaders on the team that know what it takes to come back from a uh, one goal deficit and finish off strong so I guess nine, who's gonna tie this game up right now? I, I'm hoping be? so he's a clutch player Wayne Quaif I, I love the kid so hopefully it's him are we going over 10? I, I hope not it's, uh, I don't want to see these guys lose it's not right. something that I'm used to so. right. uh, a quick comment I guess on that uh, home winning streak broken on Saturday night, that's gonna shock you. Yeah, you know, I was in I was in Banff and read a read a Facebook status that said that I was speechless. So I couldn't believe that uh, we lost at home. So, uh, but it happens, right? So you kind of can't dwell on it. You just gotta keep moving forward and uh, keep playing strong. But to know your time here at the Wolverines it was a perfect record, right? You can yeah. hang out to that to know you're a part of those great teams. Yeah, it, uh, that's always gonna be a great memory to know that I was part of uh, one of the best junior B teams in in Canada at one point, so it was, it's a good feeling. One of the nicest guys to talk to, and uh, always a pleasure to have you on here, Hollywood, and uh, I guess uh, we'll catch up with you again soon, and hopefully uh, the guys can pull it out tonight. Eh? Yeah, thanks, Dave. Elias Hollywood, the shots. Uh, good-